The big operation to transport the one and a half ton mammal to Windsor got underway. Nemo, the most sociable of creatures, has become the focus of a campaign against whales and dolphins being held in captivity. <coughs> Elaborate preparations had been made for the overnight operation to move him to a new home at the Windsor Safari Park. But wouldn't it have been kinder to return him to the wild? No, simply because he's only seven years old. He was caught when he was three years old, and he was a very, very much a baby then, still swimming around with his mother and all the family. And to put him in the ocean now would be absolute madness. He wouldn't know what to do, he wouldn't know where to go. Uh, no, I wouldn't advise it, no. And so, on a cool, rainy night, ideal whale-moving weather, according to the experts, a mobile crane and a team of divers were drafted in to tackle the ticklish problem of moving a rather unpredictable heavy load. All they had to do was persuade Nemo to slip into a made-to-measure stretcher so he could be winched from the pool. It all sounded simple enough, but whatever the shortcomings of the rather down-at-heel Clacton pool, it had been Nemo's home for almost four years. As the divers held on grimly, he took some persuading that it was time to move on. But eventually, the best laid plans of the Safari Park's Terry Nutkins and Nemo's trainer for the past four years, Peter Bloom, triumphed. After being coaxed, heaved and hauled into his snug-fitting stretcher, Nemo was lifted gently from the ten-foot-deep pool. He's seven years old now, 14 feet long, five foot longer than when he first arrived in Clacton, and still more growing to do. <laughs> Out of the pool and a greasing all over with lanolin to keep his skin from cracking during his travels. Got another one. Then this most unusual of heavy cargoes was lowered down into a foam-lined crate. Nemo would be packed with ice to keep him pleasantly cool on an already cold summer night. To say goodbye to Nemo, a large crowd had gathered and they witnessed some unexpected drama. On in. The crane crashed through the walkway, blocking the entrance to the pier. Did the long delay spell danger for Nemo? No, Nemo's fine. Nemo's very happy being sprayed with water and covered with more lanolin, and uh, he's OK. And even if it meant sort of several more hours delay, he wouldn't come to any harm? No harm at all. We've transported whales and dolphins for many, many miles, and uh, a couple of hours or even, what, eight hours wouldn't make any difference, really, at this stage. In the event, it took almost three hours to clear the crane and set Nemo off on his travels on a low loader. He had a stirring farewell. With a police escort and attendant vet, the Nemo Roadshow sped through the night on his 120-mile journey to Windsor. Quite a convoy of TV, radio and press cars trailed along in his wake. A little undignified, perhaps, Nemo's arrival in a holding pool at Windsor. The sight of a high-flying whale caused a dolphin in the next-door pool to promptly deliver a chubby baby. At last, the stretcher was winched away, and Nemo, still looking a little anemic with all that lanolin, was able to bask in cool water at last. At Windsor, he'll have a mate. One and a half ton killer whale.